the intelligence was not so elaborate or available with us except that i had on the 2nd of june i had sent uh, one of my officers a very gallant young officer called captain jasbir singh rana he was a sikh officer and he volunteered to go inside the temple to do recce to find out the layout of the place and uh, defenses those were built inside and what was the state of the temple on the 2nd of june other than that recce which captain rana was tasked to do we had very little information and it turned out that the opposition inside was much more than expected we got posters you know this pilgrims ko posters hote hain na golden temple ke in the civilian shops because we i had, we we didn't know what is the building like so those posters with the photograph of golden temple that because the whole of amritsar was under curfew i had secured my objective by 1 o'clock and all the floors by about 2:30 in the morning the southern wing which had the darshan devdi similar is a replica of the northern wing from where other infantry troops were to attack at the hr which was 10:30 did not close up with that because there was a iron gate somewhere in between first light broke that is the 6th of june it was decided to bring in tanks inside the temple to engage akal takht i think it is the most unique extraordinary and fiercest battle that any army in the world has ever fought this operation blue star was not directed against the golden temple one two it was not directed against the sikhs three it was not directed against any religion it was only directed to flush out armed terrorists who had fortified the whole place and broken the sanctity of the golden temple and it was our solemn duty and national duty to restate restore the golden temple